Hello YouTubers. Pro2 is here. Today, we got a DIY project to share. What if one day, when you start your car, and it won't start, not even make any sound, or crank, just, crick, crick, crick. No response at your car dashboard, not even the red door warning light, trying to press the horn, nothing happen, trying to turn on the radio, and the radio does not turning on, and you will be missing your Salamat Paggy ERA FM. Luckily you have a mini voltmeter already installed under your car's dashboard for your own reference. And, you realize that your car battery is weak. What happened? How come? What the hell? What should I do? Don't worry. Pro Tools will help you to solve these problem. You can charge your car battery at home. I am going to show you how to charge your car battery with a laptop charger. So, let's do this. The item we need is, a laptop charger, a multimeter, 12 volt bulb, 2 crocodile clip, and some wires. Now you need to follow this schematic diagram. First, you must kick the wire, which one is positive and negative. Then, you can solder the 12 volt bulb. Connect all the wire, and follow this schematic diagram. Positive wire, to the 12 volt bulb, to the positive terminal, and negative to negative battery terminal. Now, the battery only got 11 volt. I will show you, how many amp that we are using to charge the battery. With 235 amp, it will take almost 24 hour to fully charge the battery. We need more amp to make it a bit faster. Adding another bulb will help speed up the process. After adding one more bulb, we got almost double from before, for 13 amps. This will help us charging the battery a bit faster. Good job. Now, we will wait. After we got 12 volt, on the battery, it's time to install back to the car. Hope it will work. We got 12 volt battery now. Time to start the car. Yeah, congratulations. You successful to charge your car battery at home. That all for today. Until we meet again. Pro 2 DIY. Bye for now. Use this information at your own risk. Any injury, 
damage, or loss that may result from improper use of any tools and equipment, or from the information contained in this video, the user must take responsibility. If you think this video helpful for you, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. May the force be with you. Pro2DIY